usually you can speed up your boat with a simple modification to the end of the straws. Now bear with me a moment. Maybe you've done this with a water hose. The water comes out, but it doesn't go very far. Then, just by restricting the opening with your thumb, you can jet that water out much farther. Remember, half the time the water's jetting out of the straws. If you could restrict the opening of the tip of the straw, would the water jet out faster? And would the boat react faster in the opposite direction? Measure out four segments, each one inch, or 25 millimeters long. Put one of the tips of the scissors inside a straw and cut lengthwise. Notice that with some overlap, you can make the straw diameter smaller. Cut off the four pieces. Roll a piece into a small enough diameter that you can telescope it into another piece. Combine the other two straw pieces so you have two assemblies. Roll the assemblies so they're small enough to fit into the engine straws. The telescoped straws should stick out just a tiny bit. If the short straws drop too far into the big straw, you can usually pinch them out like this. If not, tap them out. And maybe fish them out with a paper clip. If they create a noticeable gain in speed, use a dab of glue to keep them from slipping. You can experiment with adding yet a third short piece of straw to each outlet to restrict the tip even further, but experiment is the operative word here. Let's say we graph how much we reduced the opening at the end of the straws versus how much faster it made the boat go. If we restrict the straw this much, it makes the boat go this much faster. If you restrict it this much, the boat goes even faster, but if we restrict it this much, we only get a slight improvement in speed. We can infer from this that we're getting to the point of diminishing returns, where doing more of something gives us less benefit. In fact, if you restrict the straws more, the boat speed actually goes down. Now we're getting negative results. In the extreme case, the straw is completely blocked off so no water can come out. The graph is oversimplified, but you get the idea, right? You can have too much of a good thing. So experiment and see where the peak is. Remember to prime the straws every time and wipe off the carbon that builds up before it gets on stuff. Measure, slit, and cut straws so you can telescope them. Glue them in. Experiment to find the best speed.